everybody, we are live at Infocom with Unified Communications, and I'm excited to chat about their, their AI-powered workplace. Ryan, how are you? I am doing great. Super excited here live from Infocom, booth 3817 on day one, Evan. Well, you've got a major presence at Infocom this year, as always. Um, what can folks expect to see and hear at your booth Man. 3817? What's on display? I think we're trying to trying to show and yeah, I guess not a dig at traditional AV integration, but maybe it's a little bit of a dig. I think we're kind of saying that look, if you take traditional AV developers uh, and you put them against this kind of, well, I guess I'll say this: the track that most AV programmers kind of came through, which came out of sound in that side, a little bit different than the traditional software development track. Just part of what we're saying is if you take significant development skills. You marry that with some superpowers around AV and telephony and AI, you can do some pretty interesting things. So we'll show you in a moment. We got this little whisper suite where we're showing some of the goodness that could happen if we can just connect things, bring them into the meeting room from AI to control to room systems to telephony. Um, we're also just telling the overall story that at this moment, you need a lot more than an AV integrator. You need a modern work partner that can help kind of end to end on that journey. So fun story here at Infocom, and yeah, I mean, I'd love to take you for a little bit of a tour. Yeah, let's go for a spin of the AI-powered workplace. Show us around. Awesome. All right. So yeah, here we're showing some of our AI innovations and agents that were built by the UC team. Uh, a couple that we're highlighting here, um, co-pilot agents. One of, them, um, one of them we call the company Pulse Agent. This is an agent that pops up in teams and essentially interviews leadership uh, or whoever it is in the organization that leadership is trying to get pulled from. So it'll ask them just conversational questions about what happened with their day, what are you concerned with, how are things going, any challenges, and then it'll kind of dig in a little bit deeper to clarify, and then it summarizes, prioritizes, and hands it back to leadership in a meaningful way. We also have what we call the customer advocate agent that can look at email and try to see if, let's say, temperature is going up with a customer and it can escalate that. Uh, other thing we have is a Teams Room support agent that's grounded in um, the Microsoft Learn information on how to operate Teams Rooms and the manufacturer um, information around how to support Teams Rooms. And then our own learning and, and IPSM platform um, comes together to be able to answer almost any questions around Teams Rooms. And if not, it can escalate it to a, to a live agent. So. You know, really showing here that Unified Communications has the capability to create custom AI, kind of targeted at real business outcomes inside uh, our customers and, and, and organizations more broadly. Uh, so well, you're, yeah, really, you're really offering tools and capabilities that can enhance hybrid work. Uh, what sort of feedback are you getting from customers so far? Man, I'll, I will tell you, we in our little whisper suite, where we're showing some of the kind of most forward-thinking things. You know, we're hearing things like, a couple of years ahead of, of your competitors and really you know, bringing and weaving this together in a unique way. And I know last time we spoke, Evan, we were talking about just this idea of day in the life of the AI powered workplace. So this team, the Microsoft Modern Work team is here talking about what you can do if you, know, you take all these tools, you take Copilot in places and rooms and phone and you, know, you weave them together, you get a little bit above that. You try to translate that into actual experiences, and work experiences. So we're here showing Kind of a couple of personas, relatable personas, a knowledge worker, an HR manager, a facilities manager, and how it can work if you bring these tools together and you begin to impact their productivity, their experiences, their day. And so kind of follow uh, through the you know, night before what that looks like and then how things work when you get into the office. So yeah, this team is, is here to do that. We're also talking about our new learning platform where Unified Communications has um, this direct integration with Microsoft Graph and create these customized learning platforms uh, around Copilot or around 365 in general. because We know that things are just changing super, super fast and you know, keeping up with it is important. And we can't, you know, we start projects, we do a lot of kind of hands-on, high touch custom things, but we got to create some sustainable way for people to keep up with the pace of technology. Amazing. Sounds like Teams phone and Teams rooms are getting serious AI upgrades. Um, how are customers embracing that in the day to day? Uh, it, it's huge. I, I think that uh, yeah, there's all this value of having all of your data in one cloud on the AI side, mm. and so 
just very, very natural that um, yeah, it's almost like we're forgetting about the specific products. We're really just talking about you know how a modern AI powered workplace works. And these are kind of those tools like phone and room and places and copilot. Yeah, that just becomes the plumbing that we need to create an AI powered workplace. So I'll, I'll just give you a, like a sneak little peek into this whisper room. And if we just have some folks sitting down, but in here, we're just showing what's possible if we can see and hear from cameras and mics, we're integrated into you know, device manufacturer platforms. In this instance, we're integrated with Logitech and QSIS, but then we're also connected from an AI perspective to you know, enterprise agents and yeah, kind of pick the LLM or AI environment of your choice. Uh, and we can do some really fun things. One of the demos we're showing is you know, connecting from the room system to uh, a, fin a financial agent where you know the CFO might want to understand you know, numbers that are happening. Uh, we're showing room control where we can, you know, from our voice, impact you know, shades and lights. We're showing how you can ask how to use this room system. So I walk into this complicated space and instead of reading the you know, five-page manual, I just ask some conversational questions. And if it can't help me, it sends in wow. meeting room support. Yeah, we're showing how you can open a help desk ticket, you know, directly with your voice and uh, and some really forward-looking things. I'll just you know give some examples of the type of thing that's possible to do in the future. So if that camera looked and saw, for example, that the furniture in a room changed from a U-shape to training table, well, it could automatically adjust settings, you know, for that. Or you know, the CEO doesn't like the Brady Bunch view in the rooms, but everybody else does. You know, there's things we could do to make it really easy to kind of impact things with simple either voice commands or based on something that could see or even you know, even the picture of the CEO, for example. I love that. So for IT leaders who are kind of walking around Infocom, maybe they're feeling a little overwhelmed by all the AI buzz. Uh, what's your advice? Where should they start with adoption, education, and you know how can you help? Yeah, I will. One, I would tell them to stop by. I think we, we um, you know, I think one of the things that's daunting is if you're having to do this piecemeal, you know, you've got a Navy integrator, and you've got a you know, partner for Copilot, you've got a different partner for phone, and it gets really hard. You're, the burden is on you to weave all this stuff together. You know, with the right type of partner, you know, this becomes kind of a planned process and one team. And uh, and none of these things can be left out. You know, you mentioned adoption and change management, super important, but yeah, there's just different pieces of this puzzle and it's almost impossible to build if you're doing it piecemeal. That's fantastic. And it, yeah, you know, least, so much of the technology is um, on display. What else should we keep an eye out for at the- Yeah, let me, show you, booth? let me show you a couple other really cool things that we're showcasing here. So, our advanced e-procurement solutions, Unified Communications has some real secret sauce around managing device standards and managing mm. choice in the enterprise. And so you, know, you get enabled for, uh, you go to work for a particular organization and you want something like a headset or um, or you're in charge of um, setting standards for rooms globally and you want individual locations to be able to follow a corporate standard, but maybe they can make some decisions on whether they you know, have one large display or two smaller displays. Our technology does that. It's also integrated into their ITSM platforms, integrated into their e-procurement tools. And so we've got some, we're here demonstrating the kind of AI powered, help me choose the procurement technology that Unified Communications offers to our customers. Well, wow, congratulations on bringing the AI powered workplace to life. What's next? I know you do a lot of workshops, education, online we webinars, in-person events. What's on your radar next? Yeah, we have a uh, we have a webinar coming up uh, post Infocom next week. Uh, I actually apologize. I don't date and time. Uh, I I will grab in a second. We'll make sure we'll that we get that out to the link here. Yep. Yeah, uh, we're also offering both attendees at Infocom and anybody watching um, this live feed a, uh, a a strategy session around AI powered workplace, around Teams phone, around Teams rooms. We can kind of dig in to something specific, or we can talk about it more broadly. Uh, but helping kind of let's take you on the right direction. Let's get a sense of where you're going and see how we can help. Um, so we'll we'll provide links to that as well. A couple other things I just want to share. So our uh, our UC Care Managed Service team is here. This is a team that's helping customers mm. manage Teams rooms at scale. Uh, it's a global 24/7 uh, service designed to help uh, avoid issues before they impact meetings. That team is here. Our global team is just talking about the fact that we can land hardware and deliver projects almost anywhere in the world. We've got entities in 
many, many geographies. Uh, excited uh, about that. And the last thing that I'll just talk about is our new Global View AV portal. Uh, this was developed by us as AI, integrated with device manufacturer platforms. And this is a, a, a tool that allows kind of end to end visibility into meeting room projects and then the rooms that are created afterwards. So it starts with a proposal and it goes all the way through the project and into a view that you can see you know, real time what's in a room, what changes, what insights and reporting. Um, super exciting. Yeah, AI built in. And again, kind of all of these tools, you know, have uh, the same team behind them that's creating some really unique and compelling ways to think differently about enterprise, these types of devices, and how you know, AI can just change this AV industry. Well, that it, it is indeed. And congratulations on bringing all of these products, services, solutions to light. Great to see them in action. Well, thank you so much. For anyone who's at Infocom, come by and see us through 3817. We'd love to give you a demo. We'll take you into the, the Whisper Suite. And for those that aren't here, book a meeting with us through the, the book strategy session, and you know, we'll, get, we'll take you through some very unique and different approaches to how to address some of the challenges and what we're all trying to do, which is accelerate this journey into a, you know, a functional AI-powered workplace and make sure that, yeah, we're not left behind. Fantastic. Congratulations. And you have a busy uh, two days coming up. Uh, wonderful. Onwards and upwards. Good luck, Ryan. Thanks so much, Evan. Appreciate it as always. And thanks everyone for listening, watching, sharing, and um, getting in touch with Unified Communications. Take care. Take care.